Hi, I'm Peter Alexander, author of the Professional Orchestration Series. In this last class, we're looking at string ensemble sizes. There's one non-musical word that decides string ensemble sizes, and that word is budgets. Budgets decide string ensemble sizes for all recording sessions and for all symphonies, either of which you may have the opportunity to write for. From the Spectratone Chart PDF booklets, here's the table showing various string ensemble sizes. Because of how LASS is organized, right out of the box you have three ensembles you can use right away. Here are the LASS string ensembles. Two of the three let you do Divisi writing. Now with LASS, you know that you get a complete solo strings library. But when you're doing orchestral writing, solos most often go to the first chair violinist, or the first chair violist, or the first chair cellist. You can do this in last too, which is why I have them colored in red. You also have the mini mock-up option of layering the solo instruments on top of the ensembles. To repeat what I said in the first lesson, there are within the string ensembles a muted sustained strings library where the strings were recorded with the mutes on, so these are available too. With LASS, you have the option of using what comes right out of the box or creating your own custom string ensemble depending on your project needs. This table shows two. The first is modeled after the standard sized orchestral string section. I did this because you may not always be writing cues. Writing for the mythical symphony orchestra and its unlimited strings? Well, that's a surefire way to get in trouble after your parts at the stands. So when you're writing a piece and you're not really sure what the size of the string ensemble is playing your score, try recreating this ensemble. The next one is modeled after Aaron Copland's original version of Ballet for Martha, which was later retitled Appalachian Spring. The original Ballet for Martha has a double string quartet and a solo bass. You can recreate that with Lass, or if you have the resources, you can blend Lass with a second solo strings library to create the inner parts. In case you weren't aware, Aaron Copland wrote a larger orchestral concert version of Appalachian Spring, so I put together an Appalachian Spring study package where you can compare the larger to the smaller version. Now, having gone through these last string ensembles, I know that some will be asking, why? So what? What's the big deal? Why is this important to know? Well, according to the U.S. National Labor Relations Board, a composer is a contractor, which means a composer is an entrepreneur, which means a composer is a business person which means a composer is the head of their own music production company. How do you know what you're going to be asked to write and when? You can't. But with LASS, you have the tools to handle most any string project that comes your way. I'm Peter Alexander, and I'll see you in our next LASS class.